Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as the United States Navy episode number 49. We are one away from the big 5-0. This series might go longer than any of my other Rule the Waves series, but before we get all into the future, let's deal with the present, which is a surprise attack the Japanese are launching against Manila. We've already had some comments saying the rallying cry of this war can start off. Remember M Manila Bay. So it's going to take us a while for us to get our um, ships going. This is mostly going to be a watch as the enemy torpedoes us affair. Still, to get out of here, if any of these ships survive, which there's only two, so it's unlikely that they will, but to get out of here, they actually have to go th through quite a few uh, gun installations. And what kind of gun installations we have? We have some 6-inch here, 6-inch here, uh-oh. Six inch here and ten inch there. Okay, great. We have I don't know why it's called an old one. That's probably the one we start with. I, I didn't know that they could go, become obsolete. <laughs> Do you have to refit them? Anyway, um, they are sinking stuff, but we're actually beginning to raise steam, which is amazing. So we might actually be able to get over there in time to assist, which is amazing. So they're going to sink a lot of our ships, but if they don't sink any of our strategic level ships, and by that I mean the ships that we take onto the world map with us. Oh, wow. So I don't even know how Sullivan is being attacked by torpedoes. I'm imagining that because torpedo range is pretty long, they're actually avoiding torpedoes meant for someone else. And that's fine by me. So what we want to do is drag these guys out of the bay. Okay, let's slow down a little bit to let Sullivan catch up. A battle cruiser. Okay, that's... Okay, here we go. Finally. Not finally, I mean... <laughs> but here we go. Okay, it's time to launch torpedoes ourselves. I'm pretty sure that we're not going to have much success launching torpedoes. That might have been loud. I don't know. I don't have my I have my headphones plugged in, but <laughs> they're not doing anything right now. So don't hold fire. Oh my God! Well, let's get that left side ready to fire. Might as well launch another spread. Sullivan, we're going to hold on to her torpedoes. In fact, I'm going to tell him not to fire at all, just in case we do run into this battle cruiser somewhere. Okay, we actually hit somebody. And we're hitting other things. Let's go squad max. Crank it up. Do not slow down. Or risk the pain of death. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've identified here. Kazi class, four torpedoes. Uh, Matsukaze class with six torpedoes. Now, a lot of these have already been launched, and I believe the game will play fair with us about that. So we have already sunk one of their ships, it looks like. Uh, the challenge is just going to be to avoid torpedoes for as long as possible here. Are we, like, in line... Okay, let's be in line ahead. Let's go to line abreast, turn together for a moment. Okay, we have a Yunagi class, which is six torpedoes. I mean, we're, we're in good shape here. They're not launching torpedoes in this direction. We just switched leads. Okay, because the Amelia Earhart, this is probably going to be her last... Um... Wow, how did she get so mugged? Let's find out what, what is happening here. I guess there's 5-inch guns on one of these guys, and they've actually done... Yeah, the first hit of the battle, in fact, was <laughs> her turret being destroyed. These 5-inch shells, they mean business, and an inch room hit. So I want to see, is that what they're bringing? Yeah, three 5-inch guns. They're actually doing a fair amount of damage to us, especially at this range, I guess. So... There it is. That's the... Oh god, that was not the Amelia Earhart, that was the Sullivan. 
Now we have port right here. I think we actually are better off squad maxing into port. Um, Sullivan, what are your chances of survival? Not terrible. You might actually be able to make it back. Squad max. Okay, so let's set up line ahead for both of them just in case we do recover one of these ships. Okay. So we got the Unagi as well. That's looking good. Whatever steam you can raise, you are limiting flooding, which is also good, good news. Okay, let's hold fire with you until we identify another ship. Likewise, well, the Solvin, just she's not going to run out of ammunition fast enough. <laughs> so Amelia Earhart, who I thought we were going to lose, is now, in fact, the, uh, the lone surviving uh, hope for this one. Oh my gosh. Well, there she is. Of course, the Amelia Earhart doesn't have any torpedoes left. So this is how we go down, because we are... We're Americans, and we're not going to go down without a fight. We are going to lure her into the Solvin. The Solvin will launch every single one of her torpedoes. In fact, which side, Solvin, do you have? Starboard side's destroyed, so you actually have to get over to your port side. Damn it, anyhow. It, it had to be that way, didn't it? Okay, well, let's see if the Solvin can make it back to base. She'll be the no, and the answer is no. Do not hold fire. Well, I think at this point we can launch and maybe hit the one behind her. So go ahead and do that. Oh, these are destroyers. This is not good. This is a waste of time. Get back to base. Did a fair amount of damage there. Think, yeah, we're we're landing some hits. Did, what, what, did, what? You still with me, Sullivan? <laughs> and just like that, she was gone. <laughs> How she survived? Okay. <laughs> So they did have an armored cruiser here, but it was not a battle cruiser. Would have loved to have sunk that, but yeah, okay. So not too surprising. In fact, hey, we made out better than expected, right? We kept one of our two ships alive. So you can think of it two ways. You can think of it as Remember Amelia Earhart or Remember Manila Bay. I think Remember Manila Bay flows off the tongue, rolls off the tongue a little bit better. So that's the one I would prefer to do. Let's take a look at what the heavy cruiser they're using is. Hmm, yeah, potent. It'll be eaten for breakfast by any of my battle cruisers, so I'm not too concerned about it. In fact, they're only using quality zero 10 inch guns. They are quite behind the times. So, okay, well, fair enough. I'm not going to be disappointed. We're going to get a very small window here because when I began that fight, it was correctly sized. We'll probably be spending most of our time in the battle screen, so I'm not going to adjust this perfectly. Just get something more or less full of the screen. That's good enough. Okay, so now we have to react. Time to react. And what do we do? Now that the surprise attack is over, we are going to ship our main group off to the west coast, starting with the ones in the Caribbean. And the... Tycho's, which are on the, since they've already been given a chance to have fun, basically, move these guys to the Caribbean, and we'll move these guys to the East Coast, and those will be our protectors. In fact, I'm going to move only uh, two to the East Coast, because we want to put a little pressure on the Caribbean so we can take that one colony. Somebody was saying that we actually have a, a Cassus Belly for once, a legitimate cause, uh, a le legitimate you know reason to go to war, that they took something inside the Caribbean. 
they took Haiti. So we're fighting for Haitian soil. <laughs> yeah, so mainly uh, we really, really, really hope that we get the democracies and the, uh, not the lightnings. Lightnings can stay, well, uh, we'll get the Terrapin Maximus out there. Hopefully sooner rather than later. For now, let's move them to the Caribbean. And the ones in the Caribbean will move to the East Coast for now. And the ones, no wait, don't do that. Cancel, cancel your movement, damn it. You know what, it's actually, this is, I know it's stupid, but it's actually easier for me to move the ships <laughs> into the Caribbean. I guess what I could do is just move these over. See, now I'm, now I'm really messing up. I can move these guys over to, well, these guys are gonna go to the west coast eventually. So what do we have? Some going to the Caribbean, some going, yeah, that's fine. And you guys, your destination is actually the west coast. West coast, there it is. So we'll do it that way instead. Yeah, so this is, these guys are just swapping because it's easier to tell people to move than to give them uh, different orders. We don't have enough foreign stations, probably that's Southeast Asia, because we just took the hit there as well. Well, we can get a lot more Grand Rapids out there. Um, we want to deploy all our ships. In fact, who's on the East Coast? The Galvestons are going to move to the East Coast. The Great Lakes are going to move to the Caribbean. Lots of shifting around. The East Coast is going to be kind of like our B-tier ships. So all the Galvestons move to the East Coast. We're not worried about having a fight with those there. And the Portland, which is our newest, our latest and greatest, is gonna make a move for the west coast. And we'll keep distributing them as they move along. Let's just start things off like this. Uh, Cunningham's will go to the west coast. The invader classes, yeah, we can move these guys to the Caribbean. I think it makes sense to do that. Just to force the invasion there. And we have more Cunninghams. A lot more, geez. Well, I, we know what our Kingfishers all have to do. We did retrofit them, good. And you know what? Might have to worry a little bit more about the um, Japanese. We need 45. I'm actually going to commit the order to build more kingfishers. Let's just get a bunch. Ah, okay. Ah. I mean, you got to be kidding me, but not too creative here. We're on the USS E. Well, I'm on the USS F. We all know the USS G is the best. I'm on the USS 1. Didn't even know that could happen. Well, live all, if you live long enough, you see some things. Ah, <sighs> uh, hopefully that's enough. Whatever. <laughs> I'll build more, but I can't be bothered. Plus, I'm gonna have a you know a time at the end of this when they all finish building. Ugh. Okay. Anyways, next turn. No, we'll get some ship that we're gonna move anyway. Oh, these Grand Rapids? Where do we not have enough? Yeah, it is Southeast Asia. My goodness, how much do we need there? Oh, what? Wait. Huh? Oh, yeah, we don't have the lightnings there yet. Okay. Well, let's move all the lightnings down there. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll get two of these guys to go to foreign stations, and that'll work. Okay. 
7, 16th. Wow, we sunk 13 off the bat, right off the bat. Combo attack. Interesting. It's a good way to lose our lightnings. Coastal Raid is not enemy Coastal Raid, it's my Coastal Raid. Yeah, I'll accept. Hopefully it's with the Battle Cruiser. It's not. Great. It's kind of a bad decision then. Okay, fine, then do it. Still better than, and what do we have? A bombardment target, which is where? Okay, that's doable. We can get to that. Squad max, race steam, let's go. Right to the bombardment target, get in, kill it, get out. Faster will automatically pause and reset to normal when we, uh, yeah, so that's what I did. It was intentional to do uh, faster there because fast would keep us at fast afterwards. Okay, so let's sink this ship. Sink that one. Sink them all. Ooh, an armored cruiser. Well, well, well. And it is indeed an armored cruiser. 30 knots, 17,000 tons. To say we're outclassed is a bit of an understatement at 6,200 tons. Four 8 inch guns versus 10 10 inch guns. Yeah, I think we'll just uh, put down a smoke screen and get the hell out of here. Actually, we could launch torpedoes even. Let's see if we can do it. Um, give me options. Yeah, good. At this. Yep. Yeah. I don't know why we're launching it that way, actually. It kind of doesn't make sense. The hell? Where did you guys go to battery school? Oh my god. Alright, now I'll get out. That'll just force them to turn. Now, what are they going to do about this? So let's, uh, this is an interesting game. I think our torpedoes worked. It's not going to be noon anytime soon, unfortunately. Oh, great, great. Now they're going to know where we are. We might as well just go sink this ship. I don't know. Do they know where we are? Yeah, they do. Okay, so let's stop deploying smoke, by the way. Sink this guy. We want to head north. Circle back around. We can get to that. We can still get to it. We still have time. I'd rather make our um, engagement at night anyway. So let's come back around. Okay, next target. As B? What? No. Yeah, how do you identify a minesweeper as a battleship? That's I, you almost can't do that. Like I, I don't think. I, I don't think you can do that. It's so obviously wrong. <laughs> well, I guess it's just me. Okay, another unknown ship. These guys are. Wait. Uh, that's probably because it's on fire. Oh no, that was my unidentified land feature, okay. Can we launch torpedoes at this thing? That would be fun. Oh my god, 11 inch target, okay. Well, let's get the hell out of here now. Go, go, go! We actually hit the 11 inch gun, my god. Let's not risk it, we did our job. Let's go, let's get out of here. We can sink this on the way out. That is actually fast enough to be the armored cruiser. Now would be a good time to raise that smoke. Sorry, raise that smoke again. Yep, there she is. We'll uh, go ahead and launch some torpedoes at her, see if we can get her to leave, the, leave us alone. 
how about you? Can you also do this? Okay. Now we go south. Well, they're not exactly avoiding. Oh, God, that was close. Almost got her. Another unknown ship, but probably another minesweeper. Okay. We're gonna get out. Ooh, how many torpedoes do we have left? Not enough, I'm sure. Yeah, none, exactly. So, yeah, we'll just call this a successful raid. It's kind of exciting. I'm playing things pretty fast and loose. Light cruisers just don't mean a whole lot much to Tortuga anymore. Admiral Tortuga, he's lost enough ships in his day that... What's a few more? Running. I don't know the keyboard shortcut for that. Can't remember. Make our way back home. Go down to cruise speed. And you guys can stop laying smoke. It's really going to hurt you more than anything at this point. They're going to find the trail of smoke. But they didn't. And we're done. Okay, good. So... Bonus for one surviving mission? Oh, well, whatever. It's a victory, but it's minor. Okay, so... When the dust settles, what does it look like? Tycho is on the Caribbean and the East Coast, good. Democracy is on the East Coast? No. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Move to the West Coast. And the Terrapin Maximus are moving to the west coast. Good. Whoops. Um, Portland's are moving. Great Lakes. We also want these ones to move. Did the Galveston move to... They moved to the east coast. Yeah. Well, the Great Lakes can stay here. It's a pretty good ship. It has 12 torpedoes. What does the Portland have? 12, yeah. So it's, it's just... Slightly better. But you know what? I might do the same thing. I might just divvy up. Um, I might grab four Galvestons, move them to the Caribbean, and that'll free up. Honestly, I can move those back. What I'm going to do, I've just thought about it. Finally, I'm going to make a decision. The Grand Rapids can move to the Caribbean. In fact, actually, we don't need to move those other ones. I guess I will because basically it's too late, but... Um, the Great Lakes can also move to the West Coast. We're eventually going to get the one of the Great. Uh, sorry, the Great Lakes will be in like Southeast Asia. Portland will be in Northeast Asia. We'll launch this raiding party from. Well, wait. We actually have bases in Northeast Asia. I never upgraded them, but I think yeah, <laughs> probably have enough. Base capacity, 180. Let's get another one, which is kind of big, but not already up that much. 50, 20, 50, 20. Okay, well, you, improve. Huh, we might as well do both of them, actually. Just make sure we never suffer a shortage again. And improve base. Improve base. Didn't even know you could improve a 200. Uh, that's fine. That'll be enough. Famous last words. <laughs> it might not be enough. Okay, so next. Oh, wow. That was unexpected. That was not the first place I expected to invade. Oh, uh, that's the Japanese invading. Right. Well, now we definitely want to get some ships into there. They're going to be um, battles. Oh, they sank. Oh, damn it. 13, my god. Yeah, exactly. 
we have two battle cruisers. I think we have to accept this. How are the lightnings going to fare? Not well. Not amazing. What? They didn't even. Oh my gosh. What is this? A convoy defense. And so probably I have to go early today. Tonight. It's already night. Okay. Well, hello. <laughs> hello, unsighted. <laughs> It doesn't even give me an option to move yet. It just <laughs> didn't even sight a ship yet. <laughs> uh, wow. That was a brutal start. Okay. Please launch. Wow, oh, damn it. Hmm. You won't let me launch, but you will launch. Right through them. These are obviously big ships. Okay, now would be a great time for you to be able to launch. Uh, sigh. Even captain's mode, sometimes you just can't be done. Okay, well, now you can launch now, and I'm pretty sure you're going to hit. Get the other one. Oh, suspended. Okay. Well, I'll just pull off so you don't get hit by torpedoes yourself. And because you're just getting savaged by that thing. Oh my god. You might go down. Launch your torpedoes first. Don't let them get you. Actually, I need to survive long enough to let them sink. Okay, we're nowhere near, thank God, one of their naval bases. Oh, we're, we're probably not going to make it. <laughs> we're, nowhere near, we're nowhere near one of our naval bases either. <laughs> okay, well, Squad Max. Let's try to get to Cashel Bay. I don't know whatever else is out there. Is it our... No, it's Convoy. Okay. USS Benny? Benny class? What the hell is the... Do I have Benny classes here? Oh, ships... Convoy ships can be grabbed from anywhere. Well, they must have, uh... Are probably, yeah, battleships and such. I get it, I get it, I get it. Let me go. Actually, keep spotting them until I can get to Kyasho Bay. Oh, okay, we've managed to reduce flooding. We're gonna make it. So they didn't. Wow, we got just really unlucky. They didn't even have... All they had was a light cruiser. Huh. Well, not good. But... The cavalry is on the way. They're ready to go. Send them right in. We have one in good condition... You know what? I don't think it matters. Get in there and get the job done. Whether ready or not, here you come, basically. 
Ah, East Coast, Caribbean. I think we should probably do the same trick and move another into the Caribbean. Just to put a little extra pressure. Yeah, we weren't able to use the lightnings yet, which is disappointing. We'll move all these down to Southeast Asia. Put more pressure there. And we should have... Okay, good. The Portlands will move in with first. Actually, what are there, are there are there speeds comparable? I might just move both. 29 and 30. I'm okay to move both. They're both good ships. Bring on we're bringing everything. And what else is already in Northeast Asia? Because anything there we probably want to get rid of. Northeast Asia, Northeast Asia. I see something. Okay, Grand Rapids, yeah, get out of there. Move to Southeast Asia. In fact, well, I guess I'll move them to Southeast Asia temporarily. No, you know what? No. Wait, what happened? Why didn't even, didn't grab both? Let's move them to the wait, uh, West Coast. And they'll eventually go to the Caribbean. These guys are all bound for the Caribbean eventually. Okay, so that is not a great start to the war, but it's nice. It's always, I shouldn't, I mean, it's not great, but it's entertaining, I would say, drama inducing to have um, something you have to come back in. We have to come back to win. If we just started stomping them from the very beginning, it wouldn't be as, quite as entertaining, right? So, let's see how that goes. The Bennies, yeah, these guys are. I thought these bennies were short range anyway. We'll leave them in the Caribbean. Who cares? Extra points, right? Although, the New Havens will probably be my West Coast protectors, or East Coast protectors. And then that means I can move all these uh, Cunninghams to the Caribbean for now, just so they're a little bit closer to the action. I eventually want to move over, over to the West Coast, etc. But we'll just do this one step at a time. Okay, so I'm actually going to wrap it up there. I know that something, well, okay, let's, let's get a taste. Oh my god, that, well, that was quick. <laughs> Five was already sunk. <laughs> Unless it was, no, it must not have been that. I didn't have any forces there, so I knew they wouldn't accept. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, that message. We have more ships in Northern Europe. What the hell? Who went? Is it who went through Northern Europe? Who's the idiot? So, did it say they sank number five? No, I don't. I must be misreading or something. Who's in Northern Europe? Did I? I must have misclicked somebody. Oh, no, 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 I know what happened. Who were the two Great Lakes that I put on foreign station? Yeah, there they are, Grand Rapids. That's what I meant. Okay, move these guys to the Caribbean. Yeah, um, by the way, active fleet. Move to the well. Let's move them to the east coast and then the Caribbean, because just the way it works, you got to move them once you move them off of foreign station, so that they stop doing their their thing there. So I kind of wanted to get the next battle pulled up on the screen, ready to go. Uh, all right, we're gonna send them in groups of five though, because um, they will eventually, you know, run out of steam, so to speak. And you know what? I'm gonna move all but we'll just keep two at a time for my battle cruisers. Come back to the west coast. And that means that well, I mean good thing we didn't build a way high way, right? It would be terrible if we had started to improve that base and then it was suddenly taken away from us. <laughs> uh, at least we cannot lose 
Oh, we can lose Northern Korea. It's only a value of five. I thought it was more than that. Hmm. Ah, we don't need any intelligence. Well, against Japan, yeah, that's fine, but... And actually, the other democracies we probably should bring... Let's do this. Let's do a, a, a movement. So move you guys to Southeast Asia. And move the West Coasters to Northeast Asia. Okay, so that means I want at least one on the West Coast. Actually, probably all of these guys will go to the West Coast eventually because, yeah, actually this is fine. Go to the West Coast. If we get caught, if they get caught in a battle next turn, it can't be prevented. Gonna move them out of the way, but then we defend the West Coast from any kind of invasion, which is good, so. Yeah, we'll probably move them to the Caribbean even, or at least one of them. Okay, let's see what happens. We sank the Mikasa, damn it. I wanna fight them, not submarine them to death. Cruiser action. Well, I'm going to accept it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Terrapin Maximus, you're up. But that's going to happen in the next episode. So until then, thanks for watching and take care.